So the first thing we should do is to create a simple text file that will be our configuration file. And typically the configuration files have extension .ini for initialization. Now what we want here is to initialize set of values for our text editor. And we have only four of these actually. When we go to format, we can have bold, italic or underline. So this is gonna be three different values, whether the font is gonna be bold, italic or underline. And the fourth value is the font type. Now bold, italic and underline can be either checked or not checked, meaning Boolean, true or false, because they can be combined. All three of these can be actually checked, of course or neither of them needs to be checked. If that's the case, then we will simply use normal font and that's actually going to be our default. And for the size, we will have three different sizes, small, medium and large. So small can be an integer one, medium two and large would be three. And only one of these can be checked. So we won't have a Boolean, like I said, we'll have an integer for these. So let's create a file and it's gonna be super simple. We'll go to Solution Explorer right click, add, and click new item. So down over here, we have a text file that we can add to our project. And I'm going to name this one node.ini instead of .txt. Press enter. And let's add four different values. So first, whether the bolt is checked, and by default we'll do false. We don't want it checked. Then we have the italics and we want that unchecked as well by default. And then we'll have a false for underline. So if these three are false, then we will use normal font. And the last thing is the integer, like I said, for the font size. And by default, let's say we'll have the small font as a default. So number one. So this is what's gonna be available to us when we first start the project, but of course we will be able to override it. So the next time we start the project, these values might be different. This is just the default before we even run the project for the very first time. So just save this and that's all. That's our note.ini and we don't need anything else here. So next let's start actually coding our configuration logic. 